Electric cars are just going crazy in China. Companies can't build enough. Car sales have tripled over the last few months in China versus the same few months last year. In fact, quadrupled nearly. 20% of all cars sold in China in the month of November were electric. And so what's happening? These electric car manufacturers are expanding as quickly as they can. They're buying up factories from other failed automakers and converting them into new electric car plants. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Fantastic to have so many new subscribers on the channel. Welcome to all of you. Welcome back. Welcome back to everyone else as well. Don't worry, I haven't forgot about you either. I really do appreciate your support, your comments, your suggestions, everything you contribute to the channel and to the movement. This movement of, well, of having a better world for our kids and for everyone else. That's what this is fundamentally about. So I was kind of excited to hear that BYD and New, New, by the way, are one of the biggest electric scooter companies in the world, but they are making a fascinating new electric car. I believe it is the coolest mini car I've ever seen. And I'm saying the coolest. It's, it's not even a close comparison. This is one freaking awesome, cool looking car they're going to make. Now, New Auto, very interesting company. I'm actually really considering investing in this company. They have a PE of about 42. Considering their track record of producing some very impressive electric products for the last five or so years, and now their movement into electric vehicles, I think they're a really promising company and they're, I think, really pretty heavily undervalued. So if you're interested in investing in new, check out my other video about this company. I'll put a link in the description below to that video I made last week. Now, two factories built to industry standards of 4.0 by failed local car maker, Door Send Motor. By the way, car makers fail in China all the time. There's hundreds of them, so it's pretty common. Have been taken over by BYD and Neutron, founded by the founder of electric scooter maker, New Technologies, respectively. Now, Neutron took over Door Send's plant in Changsu, Jiangsu province, and BYD took over its plant in Fuzhou, according to this report. Now, I should mention BYD have also bought four different plots of land and they're building four other factories. And they're also building a $2.4 billion electric car parts factory. I'll put a link in the description below to that video if you want to check that out. Quite interesting to see what BYD are actually getting up to. Now, in the plot of land adjacent to Dorsen's Fusu base, BYD has built a new energy vehicle, industrial park, and supporting projects. And in addition to following Dorsen's production base, BYD's investment in the expansion project officially started on September 24 this year, covering an area of 800 acres, 533,333 square meters in the metric scale, according to this report. BYD, I'm not sure how they're going to do what they claim they're going to do next year because they've already tripled their production of electric cars this year. Their vehicles have gone just crazy. I mean, they've essentially sold as many electric cars in China as what the entire country of America has sold electric cars in America. But somehow they plan on expanding to many, many countries in 2022, significantly increasing production even further. They plan on building 3.5 million electric vehicles in 2025. And they're trying to put in place a way to do that. But I don't know how that's going to be possible considering they tripled their battery deployment this year versus last year, making them I believe, by my numbers, the third largest battery company in the world. But either way, I love, I love what they're doing. They're being so aggressive with electrification. They're focusing on this 100%. Now, what about Dorsen, this poor company that's gone bankrupt? Well, they were reorganized in bankruptcy this year, and apparently asset liquidation procedures are underway. Dorsen sold 20,000 vehicles in 2018, 25,000 in 2019, but less than 10,000 units in 2020, according to the report. You know why? They weren't selling electric cars, so they just died. If they had been selling electric, well, they'd probably be still in existence and probably doing very well, considering how many electric car makers are absolutely thriving in China right now. Now, unlike Dorsen, who apparently were well known for copying others and not innovating, BYD is seen as a model of technological innovation in China. They most certainly are, which has helped it become the country's largest new energy vehicle brand. In fact, they're now the third largest new energy vehicle brand in the world. On January the 11th, BYD unveiled its DMI super hybrid technology, 
which is an electric drive based hybrid technology that enables a vehicle range of 1200 kilometers and 0 to 100 acceleration time that is 2 to 3 seconds faster on average than comparable comparably priced petrol and diesel cars. Now in addition to that they unveiled their their blade battery last year which they've now started putting into their new vehicles and their new vehicles as a result have become insanely popular. Apparently they have a backlog of 200,000 orders right now. BYD's chairman and president Wang Chan Fu said on November 19 that the supply of BYD DMI platform models exceeded demand with orders on hand of up to 200,000 units. And the delivery period for these mo- these models is now pushed back by four months. Now, as for Neutron, this is a new energy vehicle brand or electric vehicle brand founded by new technologies founder, Li Yinan, headquartered in Beijing with its R&D and manufacturing base in Changsu. The Neutron brand will be officially launched on December the 15th, according to a picture that recently circulated on Chinese social networks. Now, I really think this is a stock that's worth jump. Just if you if you like to play in the stock market, if you'd like to jump on speculative stocks, this is a really potentially strong play. Now, to me, BYD is a long-term play. You invest in those guys for the long term for 10, 20 years. Neutron, they might be a more of a short-term little game, but realistically, I do see a lot of potential in this company, like I already said. The brand's car making project has been in place since 2018. But Lee is low key and wants to get down to business, he said earlier this month. Neutron will focus on smart, high end new energy vehicles with technology lines that include both extended range and purely electric vehicles. Now, it's worth noting that New Technologies has actually denied the existence of its car making plans. And a person from Neutron also stressed that the brand has no direct connection with new technologies. Obviously, this is uh, strange. I don't know why they're saying this. But I believe this is kind of a marketing ploy to hide their plans from the market. But those plans will be launched apparently within a matter of days. Thanks for watching the channel. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.